paint. So we finished up the install on your Saberforge ASP hilt and just kind of want to do a quick little rundown on the install itself. So here's your Saberforge ASP installed with ProcuBoard B2.2 and I've also installed the Crystal Chamber as well. So originally the Crystal Chamber came with a single color LED. I removed that and swapped that with two NeoPixel accents. So there's one below the, the crystal and then another one over on top of the crystal. For your NeoPixel connector, I've also uh, added a illuminated NeoPixel connector. That way you get some blade plug shine through when the blade isn't in. You have your two switches here. The top one is your main switch, that's the blue one. And the bottom one is your auxiliary. In the config, you can actually swap the functionality of these two if you want to. I've also gone ahead and adjusted the clocking for all the parts in the hilts. That way they're all aligned in one orientation instead of randomly uh, oriented everywhere. So to access your profit board, all you need to do is unscrew the grip. We don't need to uh, unscrew the emitter or the crystal chamber or the switch section, just the grip. So unscrewing that. <clears throat> revealing your Profit Board V2.2 with the Cedoyus Designs chassis. So here's your Profit Board. You have your USB access there as well as SD card access. Back here you have your protected uh, button top 18650 battery. So this is just a key power branded battery that I have. Down here you have your kill switch. So currently to the left the Sabre is off. When you toggle to the right that turns the Sabre on. And then down here, you have your 28 millimeter bass speaker. So let's fire this thing up. So currently I've got the, the two fonts that you've uh, provided installed on the Sabre. There's Coda and Rescue. Are you a Jedi? So, that I am. so let's put the body section back on. So down in the pommel, or at the bottom of the body as well as the pommel, I've also printed out like a, a cylinder or a speaker spacer. The purpose of that is to kind of enclose the cone of the speaker. That way it improves the sound resonance. Let me just turn on the saber. So right now the sound is kind of like dispersed because the speaker isn't really enclosed. Once you put the body in, you can kind of hear that's a lot more focused. And then once you get about here, when the speaker spacer is actually enclosing the speaker, there's a noticeable boost in sound quality and volume. So I'll turn that off. So currently the crystal is mimicking, in a way, the main blade. Um, I have it set so that when the saber is off, kind of does this like slow pulsing effect. And then when the saber is on, it also reflects some of the, the blaster blocks as well as so let's put a blade in here. So for the blade, you have your blade retention screw up here. We don't need to touch this screw because that's what holds the, the NeoPixel connector in place. So just unscrew that. Remove the blade plug. And then just insert the blade. So. Let me show off the illuminated NeoPixel connector in there. There, I can't see it. That way you actually have some illumination in the emitter uh, without the NeoPixel blade in. So let's insert the blade. So that was the blade insertion sound. I've got the, the NeoPixel connector set up so that there's blade detection. So when you insert the blade, it makes a sound, and when you remove the blade, it makes another sound. So let's plug that in, and then tighten the blade retention screw. So we got a short test blade in. I've also configured some gesture controls like swing on. turn off by tapping the, the main button again. And the auxiliary button is kind of responsible for auxiliary effects like blaster blocks. As well as like that's 
thing. Accents for it. Classic locks. Flash on flash. second font we set up is Rescue, the um, Luke Skywalker font from Mando. So there you have it. If you have any other fonts that you want me to set up, uh, feel free to send them over and I can get that set up for you. So I'm going to be sending over the config file that's currently on the Saber over to you. That way you can kind of get started uh, with that if you want to make changes to the Profi. Um, I can also send over resources from FET263's website on how to configure Profi and how to get your computer set up so you can actually uh, upload config files to the Profi. So as always, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to work on your Saber and may the force be with you.